Hey guys, how are you? Back again with another beer review. Um, same position. I got I put the uh, McLaughlin group on mute uh, for whatever the reason. I'm watching that, but anyhow, I want to do another review of a very popular beer. Um, doesn't get much love by view, but others do, and that is Miller High Life. Of course, one of the originals, uh, established in 1903, Miller's oldest brand beer, 4.6%, uh, I believe, ABV. Um, I buy this from time to time. Um, it's one of the old standby, one of the old classics. First time I had Miller High Life was 2002. Uh, didn't have it before at the time. Um, I remember the commercials very vividly. This is the High Life. This is Miller time, as you probably may remember. Um, at the time around the 90s, of course, we all know Miller High Miller Life kind of took off. Miller that was. Miller's big seller, um, and then the other was Miller Genuine Draft, uh, which uh, has slowly started to make a comeback. Um, I'm starting to seeing the six pack bottles a lot in the um, in my area here in Mobile, Alabama. Um, uh, the beer uh, seems to be having a sort of popularity again, but High Life uh, has been around forever. It's viewed by many as a budget beer. Um, by the price, um, some places you can get it for a 12 pack, you can get, uh, excuse me, a six pack, you get it for about 4.88, uh, a 12 pack about eight bucks, eight, about 10, about nine bucks for, uh, for a 12 pack in cans or bottles. Um, I very buy this regularly. The only beer that of Miller's that I do buy would, would be in terms of their, uh, American adjunct lagers would be, um. Milwaukee's best um, or Miller Lite, but mostly would be Milwaukee's best I would get. Um, High Life, I would, you know, I'll get it in cans from time to time, but, you know, that's very here and there. Uh, let's see. Like I said, American Adjunct Lager. The brothers give it an 83% score, which is good. They like it. Beer Advocate. So I take that back. Um, the bros give it about an 80 score, I should say, which is still good. Uh, Beer Advocate gives it a very low score, 68. Um, they don't particularly like it. Great beer. Don't care to look at great beer. Don't give a shit. Um, this beer, um, I, I kind of like, um, I don't know whether it's the texture, I don't know whether it's the, uh, look of the beer or the taste of the beer. It really stands out to me. And, um. Uh, It always had a good flavor. Um, it's just something about that beer. It just really was, just really made it like, you know, this this, this is good, some good stuff here. 4.7% um, ABV, not bad. Um, I took a picture. I was at a restaurant in Mobile at Loda Beer Garden. I took a picture. Uh, I posted post on my Facebook page. I was having a turkey burger and I had a high life with it. And, uh, uh, of course, I paid like two dollars for the beer. High Life is about cheap. Um, it's a good beer for me to have, you know, in the backyard. Even just sitting outside tonight, you know, tonight's a very uh, nice night. You know, sitting with some friends and family, you just want to chill and just relax and 
really not do much of anything, just hang out with some friends and, and just, you know, take it easy. And what I'm about to do in about in a couple of minutes, going to run around a corner and just uh, meet up with some people and just say, hey. And, uh, you know, the texture. It has your typical lager smell. The texture is about good. And there's a lot of lacing on this beer, as you can see. That beer has a lot of lacing. Um, it's the uh, 13th best-selling beer in America. Uh, the top 20 beers that was released last year. They'll probably do another one before the year is over. Excuse me. Uh, Millhive does very well. Um, their, their sales about close to $500 million in sales. So, Miller High Life Light, Miller High Life and the Light, but I would say more so the, the, the High Life Gold sells very well and you go to a lot of stores, you know, it's like everywhere you get. Um, really good beer to have, like I said, with a sandwich, you know, a cheeseburger, you know, a turkey burger, whatever, you know, standard, you know, f fish, you know, you're having a poor boy, you know, with some fries, and um, th this would be a good beer to have with it. Um, uh, I can't get my lady to drink this, you know, she tests it, you know, she is a Bud Light girl, okay. um, so, nothing against Bud Light, folks, okay, I, I, I like Bud Light, if someone offers it to me, I'll drink it, but for the price point between Miller High Life and, and Bud Light, I will get High Life, or even in the light range, I would get maybe Milwaukee's Best Light before I get Bud Light. That's just me. Um, it, 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 he said, it's a lot of corn, malty. It just has that sort of texture to it that when I drink it, it's just like, you know, this is just, 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 just about right, you know? Unlike most of the other lagers, but. You know, this is this is this is good, and um, like I said, I've never been ashamed to be to be seen with this beer. I, I get this a lot. Um, you know, I saw this um, at this convenience store. I picked up uh, a, a six pack. It was about three ninety nine six pack of this, and I said, "Yeah, I'm getting this." Four ninety nine other places, but it was three ninety nine at this store. I think he was. Getting rid of some of the shipment, I'm not sure. The shipment, excuse me. And uh, I got a six pack of this at the store in Mobile, and um, I picked it up and I said, Yeah, I'm gonna try this. And I got one more bottle left, which um, I'm gonna save that for tomorrow. Um, but High Life is excellent. I, I think it's the, one of the probably better uh, American adjunct lagers that are out there. <laughs> Again, very carbonated. Mm. So, anyway, um, I'm not going to go on. Let's say High Life is excellent on a grade of 1 to 10 of American adjunct lager styles. I'm giving this a 9.5. High Life is good. Of course, it's won, some, uh, uh, won uh, a gold, gold medal at the uh, World Beer Cup back in 2002, if the year is correct. Um, so, but nothing wrong with this beer to me. I think it's excellent, and I, I really like it. So nine and a half, uh, great for me. But anyway, leave your comments, tell me what you think about your thoughts on Miller High Life. Um, the lady on the, I don't have the lady on the moon. Yes, I do. Lady on the moon right there. And I got one of them old school bottles right here, as you can see. So, like their packaging, if you see some of their cans out today, you know, they're also pretty decent, you know, so. Um, excellent beer. Very good to me. So, again, leave your statements in your comments and tell me what you think. So, I am John Henderson Pierre, the TV and Beer Ramble. Thank you so much for watching and keep watching and salute.